Welcome to the Daily Devotionals podcast with Pastor Paul Pett from Redeemer Lutheran Church. Subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast app. Good afternoon, Redeemer family and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is our psalm for the fourth Sunday of Easter, Good Shepherd Sunday. The psalm for Good Shepherd Sunday is the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The 23rd Psalm, the Good Shepherd Psalm, written by David from experience. To have a shepherd give his insight into the relationship between sheep and shepherd is a a beautiful metaphor. As we listen to what David writes, dwell on the fact you have to come at it from the point of view of being a sheep first. And then be in the metaphor and recognize the good shepherd providing, walking, guiding, leading, protecting. Listen to the words and hear them in that light. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The shepherd doing his work of protecting and providing and and caring for and healing. What do we lack? What are we missing? What, What does he not do? What does he not provide? He is there for us to protect us from the evils around us, from attack. He is there for us to feed us, to provide us with drink. He's there for us to do these magnanimous, glorious, and generous things. In verse 2, he makes me lie down in green pastures, providing us with not only a soft bed, but a provident abundance of food. He leads me beside still waters, for we startle easily and are frightened easily, and yet there he provides us with plenty to drink and also for the washing that we need. He restores my soul. Now we put ourselves in the metaphor. The restoring that we need because of our sins, the storing, restoring that we need because of our broken relationship with God, restoring that we need because of sin that we commit daily. And so we need daily restoration. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. There's plenty of dangerous places to walk, plenty of dangerous and unsafe places for us to go. But the path of righteousness is a path where we receive the righteousness that he's provided to cover us, to make us holy and righteous in his sight, and then to stay there, to stay in a safe path, to stay in a safe walk. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we look around and we see it in so many forms, in so many ways. We hear of wars and rumors of wars. We hear of destruction of natural disasters. We hear of pain and suffering because of disease. We hear of these and more. The shadow of death is around us all the time. But 
I will fear no evil for you are with me. We don't need to be afraid of any evil because the protection of our good shepherd is there. The providing of our good shepherd is there. The love of our good shepherd is there. And your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The shepherd's rod, the shepherd's staff, a hook to pull us back from dangerous places, a staff to guide us and redirect us when we're walking in a dangerous place or putting ourselves in a great amount of danger. These are objects of protection, objects of love. Verse 5, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. A table for a sheep is a soft plateau with plenty of grass where the shepherd can easily watch over and protect the sheep and watch against all the enemies, wolves, lions, and tigers. Those are all around to protect us from that which would devour us, that which would consume us, that which would destroy us. You know, in Peter's words in his epistle, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for whom he may devour. And we have our good shepherd right there feeding us with his word, guiding us in his path, washing us with the waters of our baptism, giving us to drink, that we might be in a safe place, knowing him, following him, finding peace in him. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Because of all that he does for us, for all he provides, for the richness of his grace and the abundance of his mercy, for all of these, indeed, goodness and mercy follow us always. But we have a place that awaits us, the house of the Lord, a place of eternal peace and joy, eternal comfort, eternal love. That's what he has done by his cross, by his resurrection. And so we trust in him. We find our peace in him. We find our rest in him. Christ is our good shepherd. Amen. Please pray with me. Father in heaven, we ask, fill us with your spirit. Help us to see Jesus as our good shepherd. Help us to recognize our place under him as his sheep. May we submit to his lead, follow him where he takes us, find in him our protection and our providing, our sustenance and our drink. We may know his love and abundance and we might find our joy and peace in him. In his name, amen. A blessed Monday to you all. Uh, we won't have a devotion tomorrow uh, due to a funeral that will take place tomorrow. Um, and so our next devotion will be on Wednesday at noon. May the Lord bless you this week and always as the Good Shepherd leads you and guides you. Thanks for listening. At Redeemer Lutheran Church, our mission is to share with all people the good news of Jesus Christ, teaching faith and love. Learn more about our ministry at RedeemerLutheranGB.com.